Let's say we have an object like this that we would like to deform or maybe cartoonify. All you have to do is select the object, press Shift K to activate the add on, and uh, just press OK. Adjust the camera and simply draw a shape that pretty much covers the entire object. Don't worry about accuracy so much. You can actually make a lot of corrections afterwards. Press Shift K, press 0 to switch to user perspective. We have auto fit on for extrusions, and auto fit pretty much stretches the extrusion length to the maximum length on your object. In this case, maybe we don't need that. Let's turn it off. By default, it's centered. Symmetry button is on. When symmetry button is on, and if you increase the extrusion, it will extrude it in both directions, like this. If I turn it off, it will go only one direction. It's there to save you the trouble of having to also readjust its position. So easiest way to do it is press symmetry on, adjust the length of your extrusion, and make sure that it actually engulfs the entire object. You can also play with the simplification values. You can have a pretty dense mesh or fairly simplified shape. Now we have enough geometry, let's say around here, maybe not so much around here. We can rectify this by using fill faces button. If you turn it on, using this threshold, it'll subdivide the edges. So it's set to half a meter. Let's increase that because we really don't need all that much. Maybe a bit more, but not that much more. If we also need control points, vertices, along the extrusion, all you have to do is increase this value about zero, the subdivide extrusion value. So let's add one. You can add as many as you like, like this. And when you're satisfied with the shape, all you have to do is press bind, select the cage shape, and press tab to enter edit mode. And I'm also going to turn on X-ray, and let's go to front view. Once you select a bunch of points and move them, you will see that they'll be deforming our object. And uh, you can preferably have proportional editing on or off. And you can use all the controls, scale, rotate, and because this is a mesh object, you can also select edges or polygon surfaces. And uh, once you're satisfied with the new form, tap to go back to object mode. And the best part of this is that this can be animated. If you select the cage object and go into object data properties, you'll see a bunch of shape keys already set. And if you adjust this value slider, you can actually animate this, the regular car and the cartoony car, or somewhere in between. Once you're happy with your object, and if you'd like to freeze it in its current form, all you have to do is select the object, press Shift K, and click Apply Cage button. Confirm, press OK, and you're done. Enjoy.